welcome back guys uh, today we are heading to the intro Morris uh, tour uh, we are currently outside our Airbnb the Airbnb is called the Gramercy residence and around the corner is a Century City mall so basically at this mall um, you can do your groceries there um, have your breakfast so it's actually a perfect location for this Airbnb yeah, so um, the Airbnb, staying there seven nights, um, costing roughly $500 Australian. Uh, let's see if he's still here. We saw a kitty cat before. Uh, do you see him? Yeah. Huh? Is he there? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Alright, grab this. Yeah, go. go back a bit. Let me just put these. What's um, Kitten Whiskers Jr. No, just let him come out in his own time. Yeah. Just put it there for him. Come on, the tissue. Wait, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. like his mum uh, like abandoned him. Yeah, he's very skinny so we've got him some whiskers. Yep. Alright, let's go back in. Alright guys, so a quick swimming pool tour. This one is for the kids so it is quite shallow. Then we have the outdoor area swimming pool. So this one's not too shallow but you can swim in it. Oh, this is a nice leaf shaped uh, sunbed. So above us there is a gym, also a massage place, um, it's actually quite affordable, um, for one hour full body is 750 Filipino pesos. Some change rooms and toilets, nice greenery. Some plants and fake grass, yeah, just to brighten up the place. So we've got some more sun beds, but these ones are in the water. It's really relaxing guys. Really, really good. We've got this beautiful city view in the background as well. And yeah, so this is the outdoor area. Now we've got a, another section. It is a lap pool. Uh, yes, yeah, so we are on the 36th floor. Should have mentioned that a little bit earlier. Um, but we are staying on the 60th floor. Um, so I'll give you guys a room tour a little bit later through the video and uh, I'll put a skip point for you guys as well for those that don't want to stick around and just want to see the room. So this is the 37th floor where the gym is and the massage places. And that's it for the tour for the swimming pool area. Uh, we're off to Intra Morris, I think that's what it was called. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's nice, yes. <laughs> Alright guys, so yeah, we've got some dirty ice cream and we're about to do the Intra Morris tour. <laughs> so guys, I'm the VIP, I get to sit up front. 
Ah, tagal mo yun ni Jumpol, papasaksak din ako. You're right. It's my bad. That's your step. Okay. Slowly but surely. Yes, I am. Guys, I don't think I've recorded this before, but look up and look at these power lines. Man. <laughs> what a mess. Man, I don't know what they do. They, they just like randomly tap into one another and just like use each other's power lines and you know power supply all the time. <laughs> a former site of uh, St. Paul Hospital, first public hospital introduced by the Americans that destroyed during Second World War. In the year 2003, they used that uh, house, they used as an office of Tamayo's Catering Services, one of the famous catering services here in St. Paul. But the, Ma the Tamayo's closed during the pandemic. That corner used to be a former site of school for girls. They call it Pole the center is built during 1632. Adjapalayan Yes, when they started here inside Intramuros after they, they uh, transfer outside Intramuros at Top Abin in Manila now. But before that school is exclusive only for the girls, but now it's quiet. Another church, that is the Church of St. Ignatius Church before, during 1878. The church also destroyed during the Second World War. Now, one of the newest museums here, they call it Museo de Intramuros. They preserve inside the different artifacts that may after the Second World War. And on our right side, that, big, uh, that used to be a parking lot now. But during 1859, that's a former site of Ateneo de Manila. One of the prestigious schools started here inside the Intramuro before they transferred in 1951 at Quezon City. And this building on our uh, right side used to be a former site of Adamson University, started by two American brothers, George and Lucas Adamson. And that is the example of the design of provincial house of the Augustinian trees. During uh, 1896 to 1939, former site of Adamson. Now we'll be going at the San Augustine Church. That is the only structure left here after Second World War. Is that the original book? Yes, from, uh, from uh, almost 455 years old church. That's the one? Yes, from That's the San Augustine Church. The founder of Manila. 400 years ago. <laughs> Yeah. It's the original, still the original church. Wow, so 400 years ago this church was um, constructed and it's still the original. Thank you. 
Halos lahat dito nasira ng World War II maliba lang yan sa Damustin. Kaya hindi siya nasira ng World War II kasi yung mga Pilipino po manip sa babong at nagpainting ng retro. Kala ng mga Amerikan po yun sa hospital. Okay. Kaya hindi na yan. Kaya hindi na yan. Galing ano? Pero, dat, oh, pero dati dalawa ho tower niyan. Yung isang tower naman yan nasira ng airport ng 1880. Kaya yung pinakabel niya nandiyan sa loob ng simbahan. Okay. Sa asa simbahan yan, dyan naman nakalibing si Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. Ah, talaga lang? Opo, siya yung the founder of Manila. Di, dito? dito? Sa, sa may gilip ko ng alta, sa loko. Oh, Amen. Siya yung first governor general ng para ng Spanish. Oh, Mas okay. kilala siya sa town na Conqueror. Oh, parang may magkikita na ba? Opo. Ah, may kasama. Sa may gilip ko There will be a, a, a wedding. Yeah. Ano ka ba? Look at the door. Look at the architecture of the door. It's the original door. Oh, still original door for 100 years ago. See, it's the oldest stone church. See the up now is a wall. See the bell. The bell, the one tower of the It only didn't get bombed because they painted a red cross on the top, and so the Americans thought it was on the hospital. Oh. Like, see, it's just changing. It's painting. It's not um, curved. Oh, it's, see? it's painting. It's all painting. Oh, I thought it's it was curved. Oh. It's treated. Yeah. Oh. It's not engraved. It's yeah. yeah. It's not engraved. It's not Yan pala nag-training yung tampok mo ang pito, Alan mo, o JD. O JD, ang job training. Ito yung tawagin natin yung Little Vegan na yung Cobblestone. Ito kung tawagin ito yung Barrio San Luis. Nine big houses yan before. Nine rich family live here. But now it's a museum, restaurant, hotel, and almost wedding reception. Apat tayo sa loob. Sa, sa, sa baba wala po. Pagka sa museum lang ang meron. Pag sa museum? 75 adult. 50 yung bata. May... Ito yung bamba, ito yung Barbaras Restaurant na ito, meron dito ang Cultural Dinner Show. Ang isang na yung show nila sa 7.15 p.m. Ayun po yung pinaka-show niya, ang sinag na show. Inside. And for wedding reception, ginagamit ng mga state occasion niya, kahit anong pa, anong occasion. Well, sa inside ng ESA, inside sa White Knight Hotel, and the left side is Spain Museum. They're making a movie.
it's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, guys, that's about it for the tour. Um, after this, we are going to go get some food and then um, head to a park. Uh, apparently, there's a what, fountain, um, fountain show there. So, yeah, stick around and should be good. Yeah, guys, hopefully you're enjoying the content that I am creating. Uh, if you could like and subscribe for support, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, so stick around and um, yeah, more content to come. guys all right so the best part of the night is our airbnb tour let's do it we could already see that there's plenty of space in the kitchen perfect we've got a microwave as well so we can have some ramen later yeah you got your plates and bowls your pots if you want to if you feel like cooking i guess all right let's see what's up here Oh yeah, we got the kettle and a rice cooker. Um, they didn't give us any coffee or tea, so we'll have to go get that from the city mall. Or there's a 7-Eleven across the road, so we can get it from there. Yeah, we got our cups and mugs. Yeah, as I was saying, plenty of space. But the main thing is this fridge. So you can make your own ice. Um, and you can store the 4 or 5 litre water bottles. Um, which is a big thing where if you're a foreigner... Um, you might struggle to have like the tap water and stuff like that. You just um, you might get sick. Yeah, so decent sized shower. Yeah, so no toiletry stuff uh, provided. Um, that's the difference between hotels and Airbnbs. You'll just have to bring your own. You got the bum gun there. <laughs> I'm sure it has a decent amount of pressure. Yeah, so plenty of room in the lounge. Um, this Airbnb already comes with uh, a Netflix uh, account already loaded on the TV. So the bedroom's pretty cool. Um, you got access to the balcony as well, so I'll show you that next. Yeah, plenty of room in the cupboard as well. Um, they're giving us hangers, which is very nice of them. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there's aircon in the room and also aircon in the lounge. What an absolute crazy view. So we're on the 60th floor, this is Makati, this is our Airbnb, we went directly through Airbnb. Um, seven nights, $500 a night. So, oh sorry, not a night. <laughs> $500 for the seven nights. Yeah, it's not, not bad, not bad at all.
All right, so this is the most important part of the video, is the speed test. Um, you want to be able to upload your content, uh, you know, back it up, this, that. Uh, so yeah, internet is key. I'm not too sure why the iPhone's not working right now. I did do a speed test before I was recording this, but um, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was working perfectly fine before. Yeah, so 250 megs per second download, that's quite fast. That's exactly what I want to see, 468 megabytes per second upload speed. That is nuts. That is crazy. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. That's it. So, bye-bye.